Hello YouTube, welcome back to City Skylines and uh, what we're going to be doing today, well, I think I did mention in the last episode, I don't know how it's weeks ago that I uh, actually uploaded or rendered that episode, not rendered, recorded, that's the word I was looking for, it was weeks ago that I recorded that episode, but I did say that I wanted to get uh, train lines going. So that's what we're going to work on. But there is a number of other things that I want to work on as well. So I'm going to start by uh, first showing you guys this. I don't want any parking available on there. Anyway, I'm showing you guys this. I've got some UK textures in. Uh, they're not brilliant. Uh, admittedly, they're not brilliant, but they're fairly good. I mean, look, have got double yellow lines everywhere. Really, we shouldn't have double yellow lines everywhere, but, um, you know... There's nothing I can do. What's what is this fire engine doing? Okay, I don't know. Um, I'm just trying to find some roads that don't have double yellow lines. Actually, there you go. Look, these roads have parking spaces. But the thing is that the the narrow roads that I'm using here all have double yellow lines, and I, I kind of don't like that. So yeah, there's that. Second thing is I had to manually put all the tube stations back in after the tube stations were updated. Uh, so if I can find a tube station, I know there's one down here. If I can find a tube station, you'll see that they are now lit. Ta-da! They have their little lights and everything, which looks really, really cool. So there's that. Let's go along here. There's another tube station here. See? All, uh, all lit up. All li Oh, gosh, that's causing a problem. There you go. All lit up. So you, you've got the tube stations along there. It's just this BT tower has been causing issues. Uh, next up, I hate these buildings, so I'm going to stop them from spawning, quite simply. And I'm going to start letting other ones spawn instead. Uh, but for now, I don't, need to, I don't need to worry about that because I said I want to work on the train line. So the next few episodes, we're going to be having a look at the train line and how the train line is supposed to work. I've also made some, you know, some upgrades. I've started changing up some of the roads to be bigger roads and stuff like that just because I got an I got annoyed with all these double yellow lines. Uh, I might just remove the mod. I, I was also looking at this and I thought, well, you know what? They all look too that that just looks too long those roads. They they do genuinely look too long. Um I don't know how many houses are on this little section. You see, this one section is probably long enough for to be a road. What you got? Uh, let's count this. Two, four. Then you got six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen, nineteen. Is that the nineteen? Yeah, that was nineteen. You got another four, so that's twenty-three, twenty-seven, thirty-one. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe... Yeah, no, that's about right, because if you have 40 on each say 40 on each side, you get 80. So that is actually the length of a UK road. Uh, other ones do have, you know, 100 and whatnot, so this is really a main road where they have 100 and something, but... Yeah, okay, so they do need to change, so I am going to be changing things around uh, somewhat. Yeah, I will be changing some things around here and there and everywhere. Uh, more like, you know, this. This is a bit more... It's a bit more like it. But anyway, trains, 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 trains. Let's see what we can do. So the train line is all the way up here. That's where the train line is. Now we've got a branch off that goes over here, disappears underground, comes back up and goes over here. That's not the branch I'm looking at though, but I want to get something going in. Is that another freight train or what? Yeah, it's a freight train. I want something to come in over this, and I want it to come in and possibly... I want the train station to be here. That's why I want the train station, and this is all going to end up being commercial. That's going to be a problem. Okay, let's start by working out where, what the train station is. Where's our train station? Then we will work out what we want from there. Big train station with six tracks. That's nice. That's quite nice. How does it how is it supposed to fit though? It's a really big train station. 
Do I do I want that? I don't know. There's smaller train stations. What on earth is that one? It's just something. Some part in the middle. What's that one? Some part at the end. Another station. So many different stations. What's this one? Small station. No, we want a large. We definitely want a large station in here. That's a cargo station. That's another cargo station. What's this? Railway track. Tunnels. No. Okay, so. Hmm. I kind of want to put this tra train station in then. This looks kind of fancy. Um, how, though? Oh, hold on. I think it. There. No. I think we need a bit of straight road. Let's get ourselves some straight road. Why can't I demolish anything? Let's get ourselves some straight road. Uh. From there, let's put some straight roads in uh, this one. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to have to upgrade that. You know, what? I'm just going to go straight for that road actually now. Uh, and I want to put it in like that, please. It's got double yellow lines all the way down it. That's no good. Is this supposed to have parking spaces? Oh no, without parking spaces. Okay, fair enough. Shame you can't have a four-lane road with parking spaces. That would be kind of nice. There we go, that'll do. Okay, and then let's try and put that train station in now. Right there, perfect. Although it does... It's one of those train stations that's... Conti you know, we've got the money to spend. Let's dump it in and let's have a look at what it looks like. That's what the train station looks like. Where are the tracks? The tracks are underneath. That's fancy. The tracks are underneath. No, they're not. Wait, one's right there. What? Oh, this is crazy. It's a nice train station, though. Let's hook this up. There we go. Uh, that's not the one I wanted, but let's upgrade it to. There we go. We'll hook it up on that side, and we'll sort out this other side after. Right? Okay. So how do I hook up tracks to this? There's the question. I can just hook up tracks just like that. But, but, there's that one. It's all underground. Oh no, wait, that track goes out this way. And I don't want that one. Let's go for that one. So these, these are underground. This is actually kind of good. We could just make these trains stay underground the whole while. I don't want them to be underground the whole time through, you know. I want to kind of go this way. I don't really fancy underground trains. We could have it underground and then come up over here and then just follow this along and go underneath, go alongside this and then under this or something like that and then round it. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so lots of noise there. Um, let's start with four tracks going straight out. Like that. Alright. And then we'll hook up we'll we'll start by hooking up just one of the tracks. Let's make it freeform, so let's actually say that that's going to go oh, now there's a tube line getting in the way. Okay. Uh will sixteen meters be enough to clear it? No. Maybe twelve meters. No. Not enough to clear it. Great. Alright, so for this, for this to work, we need the tube line to become deeper? We need the tube line to go deeper than it is. 
at this point here. Okay, 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 okay. Let's pause this. And let's try and work out this tube line. That part there. Oh, it's difficult to get rid of these. That part there. No, I want to get rid of the no the tube line. The tube line. I think I selected it for a second. That part there. Okay. And that part there. And that part there. Right, okay. Let's go to the tubes. Let's get the tube new tube tunnel. That's at twelve meters. Let's stop. Let's get that one going down to I don't know. So we're down at twenty-four. Twenty-four meters seems to be the lowest it can go. Alright, so we'll go twenty-four on this. Yeah, twenty-four is the lowest, so we will stay down at twenty-four. And uh then work our way back up to whatever this height's supposed to be. That's all wrong. Twenty-four meters, and work your way up. Okay, so that's that's nice and deep now. This train shouldn't have a problem getting through that. There we go. There we go. That doesn't have a problem now. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go underneath. We're going to hit. We're going to run into trouble there as well. Oh gosh. Um. It's a shame we can't just run straight through that station. Uh, no, let's. So the train's going to run under here. Um. Oh, where can I have the train running through? That's not going to be awkward. Alright, we'll run it under here. That's at 16 meters. Can we start... Alright, 16 meters from here. Can we bring this down? We can. 24 meters. Back up to 16. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. We'll keep it at 16 meters as we go through here. And then as we come up here, we are now going to start increasing that. So it's going to be 4 meters. And now we need to start going up 12 meters. Alright, what we got? What have we got here? Uh, yeah, it's kind of okay. It's a bit. It's not brilliant, but that is kind of okay. So it just goes underground through that entire section. It's going to be underground into the train station. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. Um, maybe we can just have it sort of go along here. I think we can. S Do you think we could swing it that it'll go through? There, but then it's gonna get it's gonna run into that issue. Um, so we want to really ideally run it alongside here, then have it follow alongside here. Yeah, that's more like it. That's that will that's working, and then we'll have it come out of here. We need it to somehow manage to get its way across here. Here we go, it's done it. Very nice. Well, I suppose it can then join up to this, but... How's it going to join up to that? I need to start bringing that down. And get rid of bending. Now let's go from here actually. Switch on the anarchy. There we go. Okay, how does that junction look? That's a good looking junction. Goes up around. You know what? Let's switch this to daytime.
There we go. Uh, no, daytime like that. There we go. Right, okay, so we can see what we're doing. <clears throat> right, we have the junction here, right. So we've got one split and then another split. That one looks okay. It'll come up here. It's kind of, it's not, it's not really that steep. That will, it'll manage. Go through here, along here. That all looks fine. That looks fine all the way. So it stays at that kind of height. So the trains will always stay up there at that height. Then it starts dipping down. There's a bit of a double dip kind of thing going on here. But that's okay as well. Um, then it goes around and under there and literally stays underneath the entire time into the station. That's okay, you know. That's kind of okay. Uh, let's go back down. See if there's any other lines. That, let's try and connect up some lines. Like that. And then we'll do... Because we can, we'll hook up all of these lines. Like that. And this one can hook up onto this line. Nope, no, not yet. Like that. There we go. Okay, so we've got all the lines hooked up. Right. Unfortunately, that means we're not going to see the trains coming in any further than here, which is kind of sad. But I don't think there's anything else I can do. I have to run it underground. Unless I wanted to destroy this entire lot and run it alongside here and maybe push the train station on this side, but I don't, I don't want to do that. Right, okay. Next up, get another road from here. Pop that road out there. Let's put a full blown. Let's put a full blown road out of this. Um, let's do that, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, that looks. That looks good enough. Go there. All right, and then we'll go. Um, there all right that that's good that's pretty good we can just delete this this section of road here okay and then uh, we need to hook this up which I've done a bit wrong there all right that's hooked up now as well that's pretty good that's got everything going in this section so we've got uh, why was that on oh, no zoning though that's a bit of an annoyance that wasn't meant to happen. Okay, we'll go to default. Uh, we'll go to force zoning. Right, time to upgrade all these. Tell you what, I'll upgrade them to the. Oh look, these ones don't actually have parking spaces. What do you know? Suppose we'll upgrade like that, and then we'll. Well, what we'll do is we'll change it up again in a few seconds. There we go. Now I'll change it back to what I wanted it to be. Which is there. And I wanted this one to be these. Uh, was that the one? Yep, yeah, I've gone and accidentally... Oh, that's not bad, you know. That's not bad on that side. Kind of gives it some options. And over here, that does need to be changed back, though. There, that will do. Right, and I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on City Skylines. And leave a comment in the comments box below. Next up, we've got the train line in. Now we need to start building the entire commercial area around it. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next week.